Hey, say friends, Mitty Man, coming back at you from Walks Music. Yet another word for the day. Thursday morning edition, and we give God the glory. And we thank Him for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. We thank Him for still being in the land of the living. For it could have been the other way. We also want to say we thank God for each and every one of you. And to all of our Heavenly Father's children, we greet you in the name of Jesus. Me the man would say this morning when we got up thinking about one of my favorite uh, like I told y'all before I was big on the quartet and uh, the quartets uh, quartet music been around for quite a few years and I don't believe it's I don't believe it's gonna go anywhere too soon nevertheless I was thinking about the one of the artists uh, matter of fact brother Robert Blair he's he so he's, he passed on a few years back. And Brother Robert Blair he had the group, the Violinaires, and uh, I believe I'm not for certain that where the Violinaires were located at centrally. I don't know. I want to say Wisconsin, but I'm not for certain. But at any rate, we're gonna let let that go like that. But uh, Robert Blair and the Violinaires had a couple of songs out that I particular was thinking about. And I was thinking about it this morning. Uh, the first one was uh, he called Dr. Jesus. Dr. Jesus. In other words, uh, Robert Blair was known for his great singing and, and that ability, to, that little cry that he would make and that little, that little growl he would make when he sang. And he was very well known for that. And uh, he said that in that song, Dr. Jesus said, he will make everything all right. And, and the word was, yes, he will. He will make everything. And then the old shot will make that, that, that little holler cry. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, and, you know, I like that. And then there was another song that he made. Was, uh, oh, how beautiful it is today just to be alive. Matter of fact, I think a lot of time we don't really consider the price that were paid for us to be alive, be walking around enjoying life today. And we owe it all, people. We we owe, we owe, big time. But Jesus paid the price, and therefore gave us our lives and our being, gave us another chance to get it right where we are wrong, and. We all can get wrong. Believe me, we all can get wrong. But every time that I, Mitty Man, I get the feeling a little discrowded. I get the feeling a little dismayed, uneasy. I always think about the price that was paid. Jesus paid a heavy price, people. And I want to I wanna try to give y'all something this morning. If you can, please learn this scripture by heart, as they, they all teach you to say. And get it in your spirit. Because it's a powerful, it's a powerful scripture. Learn the whole chapter if you can. Learn the whole chapter because that's that's what Jesus, that's what God placed on Jesus. See, it ain't about you and me. We can't, we couldn't, no, oh, no, no, God knows if it had been me, I'd have messed it up. And you would have too. So ain't no sense you get to bragging because you'd have messed it up too. But if you go to Isaiah 53, it tells it all. And I'm going to read that. I'm going to read that this morning. And I'm saying that this is what I always go to whenever I feel a little bit bad in my body. And the devil try to make me think. See, people, the devil is always going to throw them fire dots. And he's going to try to make you feel something or think something outside of the word that goes against, I should say, the word of God. And the Bible tells us also that we should cast down imagination. So when if you're sick this morning, if you don't feel good this morning, if, if the devil tries to tell you something in your body and you trying to try to tell you, no, you, let me, I dare you to try Isaiah 53. Let us, let us read. Isaiah 53. I'm going to read the whole chapter. I got a couple of minutes. I'm going to read the whole chapter. Sometimes I think we can be in too big a hurry. 
Isaiah 53 said, um, who had believed our report? He asked the question. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form or nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. In other words, Jesus people came. Jesus was no Prince Charming as they these movies try to portray him with these uh, what we call these good looking characters. No, no, no. It says that Jesus didn't have that kind of comeliness. He was just a common, ordinary person and with no beauty about him. One that wouldn't be desired. He said he is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. See, in other words, he, he was despised. He, in other words, you know how we, we love to get the beautiful folk. We love to be around people. But the, uh, what the quote unquote that we call. See, beauty's on the inside as well. I would rather have a person's beauty on the inside, not too much that outward beauty is vain. But he was despised. He was rejected. He could have came now, he could have came looking like one of the Prince Charming if he had wanted to. He's God. But they're just showing you the way our maker. And I say, we just showing you how humble, and he humbled himself to this here thing, to what we call life. Surely, listen at this now, for all of those now that think that we are doing something big, no, no. Surely he, he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Now here's the part I like. But he was wounded. For our transgression. Hmm. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Now people, I don't know how clear you can get of that now. Okay, let us let us let us hold fast to that fifth verse there. He said, All we like sheep have gone straight. In other words, everybody. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord had laid on him. Listen at that, y'all. Listen at these, all right? Now, listen at these church folk. The Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. See, in other words, nobody caring but Jesus. Ah, yeah, I know it's a lot of these people in outside our churches. Oh, we, we think it is us. We doing something. And no, he didn't lay nothing on me, the man. He laid it on Christ. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. In other words, see, that would have, we'd have messed it up right there because some of us can't keep our mouth closed. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before he or her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. This is Isaiah talking now, y'all. And he made his grave with the wicked. And with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence. Neither was any deceit in his mouth. See, he hadn't done anything. It was me. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. It pleased God to bruise Jesus. To help my foolish self. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. There it go. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge. Shall my righteous, okay, shall my righteous servant, that's what God called Jesus, my righteous servant, justify who? Many. That's all of us. We are justified by Christ. For he shall bear their iniquities. See that? It, Jesus didn't have all. It was mine and yours. Therefore, Will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, 
because he had poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many. That's all of us, folks. And made intercession for the transgressors. All of us. May God have a blessing to the reader, hear, and doer of his holy word. People, we all should keep Isaiah 53 very handy and very close. Because it tells you the whole scheme, the whole plan, the fixation, the whole combination of salvation. It is the gift of God, not of works that we've done, but it's all about the work that Jesus did. In other words, God counted it and laid everything on Jesus. Because see, if he had laid it on me, the man, I'd have messed all of y'all up. Yeah, because see, we can't keep our mouth closed. Jesus kept his mouth closed. He knew what he was doing. He told Peter, shut up, Peter, get behind me, you devil. You don't you, you don't you don't think like God thinking now you think like devil you get you full of the devil you get on you get out behind me because I came here to die. This is the purpose the reason why I came here is to die. Because if I don't die, you gonna die. If I don't go to the cross and go to hell, you going to hell. I'm so glad. Yes, many man glad that Jesus took on what paid the debt that I owe. Jesus paid a debt that he didn't owe. Paid my debt that I couldn't pay. So therefore we shouldn't have anything, people. Anything. And I'm going to end this video. We shouldn't have anything that we got so swell or so grand or so great that we would put ahead of our maker. Matter of fact, even the crown that we're going to receive one day, by and by, we're going to lay them crown down at Jesus' feet. Oh yes, sir, we're going to lay them down. At Jesus' feet, we didn't do anything. We owed a debt that we couldn't pay. We was on our way to the lake of fire, burning hell, because by our forefather Adam. But thanks be to God that gave us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. People, by faith are we saved through grace, not of works, lest anybody I'm going to put it in my own little old bit of word. Lest anybody should boast. See, I'm so glad of that because, see, you, you, if I would, I could brag, see, if we could. Because, see, I could brag about how much more I'm doing more than you. Because you know how us, we, we love to do that anyway. We love to compare ourselves to somebody else. So, in other words, I'm so glad it ain't got nothing to do with me and it ain't got nothing to do with you. But it's all got to do with what God saw pleasure in laying everything on Jesus. So guess what? Jesus is all he sees now when he looks at me. As long as I have been bought and covered. No, no. The blood of Jesus take away sins of the world. All we got to do is believe and accept that, that, that gift. What he did on Calvary so many thousand years ago. And believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead. I think it said in Romans 10, thou shall be saved. With that being said, this middle man tell me whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God not in it, come on out of it, people. Please hurry up. Run out of it. Run. Because it's going to come to nothing. This middle man hoping that we'll see everybody tonight on the blog, Bible study at the same time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, those that listen by way of the web, you can go to the website, uh, www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash midi man and uh, I think that'll get you on in there uh, I think that'll get you right to my site if not you will see it posted on Facebook or whatever but at any rate those that make it we be we appreciate those that don't make it and matter of fact God bless you in other words it's not about midi man if I, I'm going to do the Bible study if uh, if it be 10 or 2, 10 hundred we're going to still do the Bible study because Jesus said he would come Bible said Jesus would have come if it had not been but just one person to be saved. He still would have died. So we don't do things for shape, form, and fashion or for show, but we do all for the glory of God. See y'all after a while. Smitty Man saying goodbye.